I thought that I would sit down and do a quick little fall haul for you. It is currently 96 degrees here in California, uh, so it's very hot. I haven't been able to wear any fall clothing. I can only wear crop tops and denim shorts because I would sweat to death in a sweater as of now. I've been kind of collecting fall pieces to wear for when the weather finally cools down. This video is sponsored by Nasty Gal. Uh, they sent me a bunch of stuff, some holiday stuff, some sweaters. I guess let's just get right into it. first few things are actually from their holiday collection with Cara Delevingne. Pretty stoked about it because she has such awesome style. I picked three things in total. First is a houndstooth blazer. The fit is very relaxed for a crop silhouette. The shoulders are padded as well for a little bit of structure and I'm just very into the elevated look of it. Uh, I tend to dress on the casual side so it's fun to try things out that are just kind of outside of the norm of what I would normally wear. As far as styling goes, I wanted to pair this with the matching bottoms from the same collection. Loose-fitting, high-waisted pants are always a yes for me. Uh, they're very comfortable to wear and I just feel comfortable wearing them. Same print as the jacket, very oversized with pockets and it has some button and waist detailing for a little unique touch. The last thing that I got from the collection was a black satin slip dress. I just don't think you can really go wrong with a black mini dress and this one is no exception. The cowl neckline is a nice touch. It gives me a little bit more shape in the chest area. <laughs> they sent me this in a size 6 so it is a little big on me but I kind of like it this way. Just more room for my food baby when I'm stuffing my face at holiday parties. <laughs> Moving on to the next item, I guess, is what you call a boiler suit. I had absolutely no idea that that's what this is called, but I actually have this exact same piece of clothing, but in white. I wore this when I was in Europe last year, I think when I was in Amsterdam, and I absolutely loved it. So when I saw this on the website, I knew that I wanted it in black as well. Definitely my favorite. The contrast stitching is just really fun and it has this relaxed fit that pairs well with boots. Such a 70s look to it, I'll definitely be wearing this a lot. Up next is a tan chiffon dress with a black sort of floral paisley print. When I saw this, it just looked like a sweet and feminine dress perfect for a family holiday party, I would say. The tiered ruffling is just so pretty and I like that the sleeves are kind of puffed with a tassel tie detail. The back also has an open detail, which I'm all about. I love a good back detail. I feel like that's just really my style. Onto outerwear, my husband really wanted me to get this crop jacket, and I'm glad I've listened to him because it's pretty cute. I don't have anything corduroy, so this is a nice new thing for me. The tan with the faux Sherpa sleeves just pleases me aesthetically. The fabrics keep it from being too sporty, which I like personally, so... Good job, hubs. I don't have a sweater in this rose color, so that's why I picked this one. Cozy knit cardigans are a staple for me for any outfit for fall, and this long, oversized silhouette is just something I always gravitate towards. There's a hook closure in the front, and something I've been seeing is wearing it this way without anything underneath. That's a little bold for me, but maybe if I'm feeling brave, I'll try it out. Uh, but if not, it's just super slouchy and comfortable, and just an all-around must. Mustard is one of my favorite colors to wear, so this shaggy cardigan really caught my eye when I saw it. I have so many shaggy jackets and cardigans, but I guess I thought I needed another one, but in this color. Feeling very 70s with this jacket. It is very warm though, so I probably won't wear this until the weather is much, much cooler. Looking forward to it. Onto accessories, I picked up a faux croc leather belt. Um, I'm actually wearing it differently than what's on the website, but I think it looks pretty cool either way. I don't have many statement belts in this size or with this chain ring detailing that it has going on. It's very striking compared to my other belts, so I thought, why not add it to my closet? Um, it'll probably look really cool with a lot of my more simple pieces. Last but not least are two pairs of boots that I picked up. The first is a dark brown faux croc leather pair with block heels. I have so many black boots, so I thought that I would put a little variety into my shoe collection and choose a dark brown pair. These hit just under the knee, and that's pretty different from all the other boots I have. I mainly stick to either ankle or over the knee boots, so I would love some recommendations on how to wear these. I have absolutely no idea. I just know that I really like the look of them. The second pair are just another pair of over-the-knee boots that 
I'm pretty sure I bought multiple times, but I always wear them to death, so I thought that I would replace them with some from Nasty Gal. I wear these type of boots with everything during the season. I just tend to like how they look with all of my things. They're fitted enough that they don't fall down, but they're also slouchy enough to look more relaxed than, you know, that really tight fitting looking over the knee boot. They're pointed with a block heel, just like the other pair, and I know I'll wear these constantly because I have had them many, many times before. <laughs> so that is going to be it for my fall haul. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you to Nasty Gal for sponsoring this video. Um, I'll put the links for everything down below, and I believe everything you can just find in the new in collection uh, right on their website. I hope you enjoyed. Did I already say that? And thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs>